If you would like to check out all of my sounds, samples, and presets, all links are in the bio. Okay, everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be making some future bass from scratch. And this one was pretty interesting because the first like two or three minutes of the video is is me trying to figure out which direction to take this song in. I just couldn't figure it out. I was like, I don't know what to do. Like I'm trying this one idea, which you guys will see in a second. I was about to quit. I'm like, I'm not gonna quit on this. So, you know, you make a couple of moves in your song and you kind of just build momentum with that. And then before you know it, a couple hours pass by and you just made so much progress on an idea that you were about to stop. So that was interesting, but let's get into it. All right, everyone, welcome back. And we're gonna be working out this song today. So the beginning of it, it's kind of just like all random chords and everything. And then there's like a little drop. I'm mainly gonna be working out this drop for like a little bit of like, um, kind of like a future bass style drop. So we'll see where it goes, but here's a quick listen. The game plan is to kind of work out this intro a little later. I'll probably do that off camera. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. All right, I have two things in mind. So we could do, mm, we could do like chord stabs. So just do like big saw chords going with that brass. Or I was thinking maybe like a, like a plucky synth. All right, now we're gonna use the Z preset from Prevail. And a quick way to bounce stuff in FL, you could do, um, it wouldn't make sense to go in the file, but you could do the um, arm disc recording trick and whatnot, but why well, would call it trick? But we could just do right click here and then do quick renders audio clip or renders audio clip. All right, this is a slow process, but it's gonna get there. We're gonna bounce that vocal eventually to the vocal chop, but I'm not completely double down on it just yet. So since I bounced the brass, if we um, cut it up a little bit, it's gonna make the whole mix a little more tight because otherwise the reverb is just kind of all over the place. All right, uh, quick update. It sounds nothing like it did before. I changed pretty much everything. Not like the chord progression or anything, but like the whole arrangement, I guess you could say, but just the whole placement of things. So I put the vocal back about, what is that? One bar, I put that back a bar, or one beat. So it kind of just flows a little better. So it goes, uh, boom. I'm gonna work out everything else in here because I just need to like, not perfect, but I just need to put more work into this vocal. And then the bass line, I use the same bass as I did from the Deep House video I made. It's that Calvin Harris space. I just love this. I, I like using it for like those deep house sounds, but also for like future bass. It's like a nice little all around type bass. And then these. Nice little stack. Still have to like mix a lot and just kind of get everything to make more sense. All right, so the intro is still kind of like empty. It pretty much has all, it has this foundation down. It definitely does, but but I just need to just arrange everything in the right way. And then we go into the drop. I'm gonna do like a little guitar fill right here. Like right there, make it go like, I don't know, maybe like da -da 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 -da, something like that. After I situate the whole vocal, I'm going to bounce it out, then probably add, or just not add, but just put it up an entire octave. So I might just add a plus 12 layer on top of it, like really low volume, or I might just do an entire plus 12 layer for the second drop. All right, we're back and we've got a couple of things to go over here. So the drop sounded like this. It's 
a couple main things here. So the vocal chop, I bounced it out just for the CPU purposes because the vocal chain, Vocal Synth Pro takes up a lot of my CPU. But if we mute these, if we unmute the main vocals, this is what they sound like dry. And that just came from like just tons of trial and error. So that probably took me about like 30 minutes to do, just like trying different combinations. Um, out of this little guitar thing here. So the fill right here is interesting. I always like to just add a little bit more in those transitions. So like, you know, I could have just, I could have just copy and pasted it. But I think when you throw people off like that, it's just, they kind of appreciate it a little more if that makes sense. Cool thing here, I wanted to add some sort of impact on that kick. You know, it kind of is like, it's like plain. I wanted to do some sort of recording with my voice. <laughs> Coughing weird, I have the original recordings. I figured I'd show you guys. <gasps> <laughs> but I ended up going with like, um, more of like a vocal shout like this. Oh. 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 Just a cool way to just spice it up a little bit. And then the stack. Two prevail presets. And then staccato strings. Got that brass underneath of it. And what's cool about this is like the tightness the drop has. So instead of just having reverb on everything and just like letting everything ring out, chop everything up. If you chop it up, it just kind of gives it more, more feel. I have a sweep going into that second snap. And that vocal chop. So the main reason that I bounce that out is so I wanted to add a low layer and then a high layer. So these are just kind of acting as doubles almost on certain parts. I did have those running for the whole entire thing, but I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have these in as like doubles to make those sections pop out a little bit more. Then for the draw, that's pretty much it. There's not that much going on here besides we have these, all the synths down here, the hi-hats double. But that's pretty, pretty basic. Then we have a reverb sweep here too, which does fill out the, the gaps. And then to like tease the, uh, the drop melody, I didn't put it anywhere in the build or anything like that. So I figured I'll just put like a little kind of toy box kalimba type thing at the beginning. And this is just the kalimba from Prevail, I think. That's a pluck later on top, click on it. Yeah, we got a pluck. Then a little pad. And one thing with the vocal layers is that for the doubles, you know, this main layer already has so much high end. It's kind of annoying on itself. But for the high layer and the low layer, I track them to separate buses. So we have the ability to like mix them further. So the high layer is, I have some chorus on there and then some EQ. That's just taming it a little bit. Oh, the EQ down here is taming the highs because we don't need any more high end for that vocal. Same thing for the low. So I probably cut out the low end. I'm assuming cut out the low end. And I like, I just like to process the, those like double type layers. I like to process those a little more separately from the main vocals. And then I'll play the entire thing right now. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. If you would like to check out all of my sounds, samples, and presets, all links are in the bio.